Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. How would you like to run your laptop or smartphone using your body movements? Ooh, I like that idea. That uh, provides all kinds of opportunities. Well, our next guest can make that happen for you. He's the head of product with HTR3D, Yaron Azuboud. Did I get it right? That's true. Ah, yeah. very yeah. good. Welcome to the program. Glad to have you, you with us. Tell me about XTR3D. What yeah. do you guys do? Yeah, XTR3D uh, provides a gesture control and motion capture uh, capabilities. And what's special in our case, it's software only. It's not required any special hardware. Just use our software and the capabilities that you have in your laptop or in your mobile or in your TV. So when you talk about gesture technology mm -hmm. and using it in any of these other devices, uh, are we like waving at our phone or waving at our TV to do things? E exactly. Or? You can do it very close to the camera and you also you can do that very fast from the camera in case of TV, for example. You wave your hands and actually you control and navigate the, uh, the, the consumer electronics using your hand. And I like that idea, I think, from a, especially from a smartphone standpoint, because we all have smartphones, or we all should by now have smartphones, so they're always with us. But I wonder if it would make us look funny on the train or something, on a commute uh, out in public, if we're just doing things with our smartphone and <laughs> making it look like some sort of, like we're conducting an orchestra or something. Is that, would that be kind of the gesturing to do different things? And what would we control? We control, for example, whenever you are in the car and you get a call, instead of your click, on the on the uh, green uh, button, you yeah. just sneak your wave your hand, and you get the call. Oh. And also, you can wave in other type of gesture to volume up and volume down the call, and also to close the phone. So this example of one of uh, capabilities that we can provide. Really? So if you talk a lot with your hands, you could be in trouble. You'll be hanging <laughs> up on people all the time, right? <laughs> you have yeah. to use use a little caution. But I like that idea, yeah. and that that adds that whole safety element, as you mentioned. If you're on if you're on the phone while driving, that's true. Keep but your eyes on the road and just wave your hand to do different things. That's true. And yeah. in addition to that, you can also do some play, that some games using your your phone. By instead of just you know pushing the your hand on the on the screen, you just can wave the the hand. Instead of that, it, this is much fun game that you can provide. Sure, not while you're driving, of course. Absolutely, you're obviously you're playing. You know, this will, you will do in the train, as you <laughs> yes, said. Yes, exactly, or or home or otherwise. And obviously, using our built-in cameras then on mm -hmm. the phone, right? So you would need exactly. presumably a front-facing camera. Or could you just flip it around and you use the You need a front-facing camera. It's, you know, most of the, of the laptops and the smartphone today has front-facing camera, and we, we can use just these uh, elements that you have in your phone. You don't need to buy or purchase something extra. This is the special in our case. Gotcha. Now, you introduced, I'm told, something unique here at GDC this week. Easy? What is that? Yes. Actually, in Easy, we encapsulated all the capabilities that we gathered so far and introduced it in laptops and PCs. And now you can also use all those capabilities in your laptop and PCs. You can operate uh, capabilities and applications that you already have, but now instead of click on the keyboard, you just can wave your hands and operate it. Instead of that, it, this is very cool and very fun, especially in case of games. Yes, I mean, so games, we've talked about the ability to control your phone for taking and you know, receiving, making calls, whatever. Can you somehow dial with gestures as well? Yeah, there is also option to dial uh, in gesture the special cases, uh, and also we operate in this direction as well. Hmm. I, I, I envision one day, I'm, I'm guessing not quite now, but sort of air typing, like we would play an air guitar. Can you type I in the air? I can tell you that also this application is in progress right now. I can really? elaborate more than that. Oh, you, or you'd have to kill me probably. <laughs> exactly. it, would be, it would be top secret. But That's I'll bet true. you'll let us know when it's available soon because I think that would be kind of a unique way it's as well. Yeah. Because if you, especially with tablets and tablets that you don't have a keyboard with or just an on-screen thing, mm -hmm. but if you can prop it up and the front-facing camera sees you typing in the air, wow. A yeah. mm, lot of potential. Do check out the kinds of things that Yaron and his team are up to. Visit their site at xtr3d. 
Extremereality.com. Why those letters? Does that mean anything, something in particular? Yeah, extreme Reality, this is our name, and XTR is the abbreviation of that. Ah, extreme Reality in 3D. Yeah. yeah so there yeah. you go, XTR3D.com. We'll link you there when you visit intotomorrow.com as well. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. I look forward to the other things that we're able to do by gesture uh, as we head further into tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.